Thank you. To his players. Silva Roa. Welcome to the DWU We Were Campus 2019 Missioning Ceremony. Thank you for coming and celebrating with the Divine Word University We Were Campus community today. We have gathered here to celebrate the Eucharist together and to give thanks for the success of another generation of beginning teachers who have completed their studies and ready to move out into the great big wide world of the classroom and hundreds of children who are eager to learn from them. Missioning is the first phase and the spiritual side of our DWU graduation ceremony. The missioning ceremony marks the end of teenage years and the beginning of adult life. You may also consider it as an initiation ceremony. The transition from teenager to adult is a continuous learning experience especially for the beginning teacher. The missioning ceremony is a celebration of a milestone in youth transformation. It marks the successful transformation from a bewildered, fresh, freshly admitted first year student to a confident young adult ready to experience your own classroom with its many challenges and trials but this will be happy times too. Teaching is a vocation which is very satisfying. Some of the children you teach will become your lifelong friends. The graduating students have arrived at the last stage of the student life cycle. Over three to four years, they have been exposed to not only academic training, but also to a philosophy of life grounded in a value system, the value of the divine word. On behalf of the DWU community in WeWork, I can confidently say to the parents and guardians, you may take your young adult child home, our job has been completed. Thank you for entrusting your child to us in the last three to four years. Dear graduating student, I'm confident that you have the capacity and sound philosophy of life grounded in Christian values that become gradually less dependent of your parents and guardians and make your career and lifestyle choices that will guide the remainder of your adult life as a teacher for life. The focus of DWU's holistic system of education is to pre prepare you from the transition from youth to adult. We help you to develop the skills, obtain services, and support necessary for each one of you to conduct your life, both private and professional, with integrity and responsibility, so as to contribute positively as an adult at home, in the community, and in the classroom, as a role model for the children who will learn from you as an upright PNG citizen. Today, we have gathered to celebrate your transition to adulthood and also to pray with you and for you. We thank God for your lives. We thank God for your presence at the DWU community in WeWork. And we pray with you so that you can commit the next chapter of your life to God and seek his guidance and protection over you. The DWU mission cross you received today should remind you of the cross of the divine word, the Lord Jesus Christ carried for us. He too walked through life's challenges. His journey on earth teaches us many things, many great things about people and about God. As you are about to journey into the world as an adult, I hope you will not only take the skills you learned in the classroom while at DWU, but also take with you ethical and Christian values. I hope that your prayer today is, here I am, Lord, ready to do your will. May the Mission Cross be an expression of my commitment to teach children to be upright citizens in the future. 
Remember that the real meaning of education is expert judgment in all things. The power to tell the good from the bad, the real from the imitation, and to prefer the good and the authentic to the bad and the corrupt. May the DW Youth Mission Cross, which you are about to receive, be the reminder of God's power within you to make expert judgment. Let the cross be your moral compass, your beacon, beacon and your shield against the temptation to engage in corrupt practices. May the cross be your symbol of love and service for the common good and for the conservation of the environment. May the cross be the outward sign that you have invited the divine word, the Lord Jesus Christ, as your companion along this long and arduous journey of life. I have this little prayer for you. Heavenly Father, surround those who receive the DWU Mission Cross today with your grace. Bless them with hope so that they move into the future with eager and open hearts. Help them to put the knowledge, skills, and insights gained through their education to use for the good of all humankind. Inspire them to believe in the goodness of life even when faced with challenges. May they grow ever more grateful and wise. All this we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, the divine word. Amen. That you did not choose me. No, I chose you and sent you out to bear fruit. And so, our birth to life, it's not our choice. It is God's choice for us, God's will for us, and God's love for us. We have nothing to do with, uh, with uh, our coming to this, to this world. It is all is God's will for us, God's love for us. And that is why, that is my, my opening remarks, and I want to call us to our attention to, uh, to, to realize that our, our life on this earth is not a mistake. It is God's will for us. And now at this time, he has blessed us with everything. First of all, he gave us good health. And as young people, he gave us that strength and uh, that mind and that good intention to choose to come here to St. Benedict. And uh, also to be that person to be his image, because he created us in his own image, to be his image and the present of him, present, present of him to our community, to our nation, to our family, and now at this time, to the students you'll be serving. And so, to this, to do what you, what you are doing now, it is God's will for you, God's choice for you, and God's love for you. Take it at that. Because if you don't, if you don't have uh, this idea before you, you will continue to search why I am in this world. What is it that I have to do? You will not be satisfied with what you are given now, what you have chosen now, and what God has really deepened your intention to take it and love it, and to be formed, to be that person who is to be a teacher. And this is really something that you have to be happy about and be be, because that is, will be a contribution, contribution to our nation, to our church, and to the many families that you will be serving as teacher, educating their sons and daughters. And it must be your joy. You take it and be happy about it. That's what St. Francis said, that uh, to really serve God, it is, it is to love him, and really to love his word, and be joyful, to live his mission here on earth. And that is your mission. All of us have mission in our world today. So be, be satisfied with, with what you have chosen. No one forced you to be a teacher. You have chosen that. And God himself has chosen you and given that. And you were happy to be here for three years to be formed, prepared, so that your profession will be something that you will be happy about and be happy to live it out and fulfill it in the field of teaching.